Hello, uh, I want to uh, talk about an interesting example of an application of uh, compressive stress uh, and the idea of pressure and things like that, how the two concepts are con related to each other, how you can make use of them. So an example of a nail, you know, you're trying to drive the nail and this is uh, some wood. Um, so the nail will go through the wood it has to break the wood so at some point the wood is not able to provide the compressive strength so we will say that uh, uh, compressive strength of the wood is given okay of this wood uh, say say in my example, I'm going to do a numerical example. Example is, um, say, third, uh, fifth, I looked it up actually, it's called 56 megapascal. Meaning, if I were to cause stress more than this, the nail will go, okay? Nail will to break through the wood. So that, that's what meaning of this. Me meaning is, if, stress in the wood is greater than 56 megapascal then nail will break through okay so that, that's what this means so we, we will say that the tip uh, is uh, very very fine maybe one millimeter by one millimeter if you say square or surround it's about one millimeter uh, you know if you have mil one millimeter diameter so a little bit of that order so we just use that as one millimeter square as in our example okay so I want to figure out what kind of force I need so that the nail will go through okay so one way of thinking is this force will be the same force that will come all the way down here so it's the same force so if I look at uh, look at this piece of uh, the wood just standing in front of the tip okay so you can see this thing has um, you know forces balanced on it right uh, so you have a force coming from the top so if you look at free boy diagram of that guy and there is some kind of stress here right which is applying a force upward otherwise otherwise how is going to be staying there i mean there are forces from uh, this side and this side they're balanced so we don't need to worry about it but when I applied this force additional force from the top well it uh, it needs to be balanced by whatever the stress is in the wood at that point okay so we will balance the forces so let's look at it so so we have uh, force from above that's the force I need how much force I need and if if the stress here is sigma and it's acting over the tip of the area then then the force from below is the sigma times the a tip that's the force right the stress is force over area so force is stress times the area all right so this is a balance and this object is uh if it's not gonna give right we're looking at um, apply the force maximum but a little bit less so it's not giving so it's not gonna have acceleration so we'll have acceleration zero uh, if 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 force is any greater than this then it will accelerate but so we're looking at the critical time so that's why I want to get this F at the critical so these are with that and whatever the mass is whatever small mass there will be that's not going anywhere so sigma a tip 
equals F balancing. So sigma has to be F over A tip. Notice how this is very similar to the pressure calculation, right? So this was like a pressure times the A tip. <clears throat> so what did it look like? I, I need to know this should be uh, this should be equal to to the strength. So let's call this sigma critical. Okay, has to be equal to sigma critical. And so I want to know what force will be that this will be the case. So the force solving this will be sigma critical times a tip. That's the force. If I get bigger than that, I, I will be able to successfully. Uh, drive the nail okay successful drive the nail all right so uh, let's look at what have sigma critical is 56 megapascal so i write them in a pascal which is newton over meter square uh, and a tip is one millimeter square so that's kind of a, a one millimeter times one millimeter something minus six meter square right so this this is actually uh, this cancels that pascals times meters called be newton so 56 newton so if in a nail of this kind of thing and it would with this kind of uh this kind of breaking strength you know uh you would you would need about this kind of force to drive the nail pretty cool i think this is this simple example is, illustrates uh, how, to, how pressure actually is a very important concept, not just the force. Think about how uh, my decision is not based on the force. Uh, for instance, if you had a, another nail, but it was a... If you applied 56 Newton, but this was area was say say two millimeter square and you applied 56 newton uh can you drive it in this wood no so it's not the force that actually dictated what the outcome will be but it's actually the force over the area that has to be compared with compressive strength strength of the material so uh, this illustrates the idea of uh, in materials uh, a more relevant concept is actually stress and strain uh, so st strain we haven't talked in here but stress is uh, in a material how much stress you're causing so more relevant concept is stress rather than force uh, and um, another name for stress when you're compressing a fluid and fluid is pushing back on you because of stress inside the fluid that that is what is called pressure okay so next uh, we'll talk more about these things uh, uh, in the next video uh, we'll go over pascal's principle and how pre uh, pressure is uh, in a fluid varies with height and things like that take care